What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Bitcoin. Guys, I'll do a Bitcoin technical analysis in this video. Many of you have reached out asking me to do it, so I'm doing it, okay? So Bitcoin will be purely based off of technicals, guys. I believe this thing is purely based off of technicals, nothing more than that. Um, and so let's talk through it. You know, um, I'll provide, you know, opinions on both sides. When I say opinions on both sides, which that means is that provided certain price action happens, those type of plays can execute. So if price action happens in the direction of bullishness, and you will soon see in this video as I go through, then yes, there is continuation of massive movements may happen to the upside. But however, if certain level starts to break or certain structure starts to form here, you can you can be expecting a cool off as well. Okay, so alrighty then, guys, let's jump right into it. Once I let you know, none of this is any financial advice; it's only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. All right, so guys, Bitcoin is right at the all-time highs that is 70,225 is the area from the past so let me show you that well okay i'm my bad sorry not 69,000 sorry 69,212 around it was the previous all-time highs and lately we did try to go up right we broke that all-time high as well first time we rejected right at to the penny over here you can see right we slammed down we came back up and then we are we tried to break out of it 69,000 above and then we reached 70,206 now this is we call what is a a sorta fake out and momentum buyers who usually have their so how momentum buyers trade or the breakout traders trade in this case momentum buyers come in a little bit later so breakout traders have their position to the buy put up right above the all-time high so that's where a lot of you know buying positions are kept so that means there's a liquidity there right so sometimes you know, as the pressure is going up and up and up, just to fill in that liquidity, stock price goes up, fill those orders, but since there is not enough demand right now on there to push it up, price tends to come back down. And also breakout traders who are usually not, who don't wait, right? Who are like, okay, this thing didn't go through up, we got to sell out. And then that also creates some selling pressure. So this is usually a little bit of a fake out. However, the way the price action is looking right now on Bitcoin is not weak. It's not that it's flipping from here now. So for that, I first want to take you to the hourly interval and then we'll talk about a couple more things as if certain things happen, how price action may react to those. So right now, guys, in my opinion, I think Bitcoin can do another try on the breakout all time high breakouts. OK, so. Uh, let's let's do this first here on the hourly interval some analysis. So what is that analysis? So and that is guys this first of all Bitcoin so far is if again trend lines will not be perfect ever But it's following a really good sort of trend line or you can just to keep it simple You can also just use this 50 hours moving average over there the purple line, right? So as long as we are above that That's that's what you want to keep seeing now there are two type of plays on this again okay now the another breakout plays above this 70185 this is where the breakout traders are still sitting they will still come and then a little bit later after there are momentum buyers that gonna come in and so if we can get a good squeeze and break out above this seventy thousand dollars and 160 you know this is a zone of breakout traders stepping in and then a little bit after that we have momentum traders zone that's going to push it much higher provided those confirmation happens right so right now it's not looking like that it's weak enough that it's going to go lower um which is like bitcoin in this particular case right now right but however if we lose 50 hours moving average 
there is a potential so you can see the last time we when we lost 50 hours moving average we came down and tested 20 sorry 200 hours moving average and we found a rebound over there also at one of our levels 61425 yes if we lose 50 there's again a cool off that may come guys uh, all the way to 200 now there are certain levels to watch now um, one of the levels you can watch i'm going to mark it here for you um, you can see these settings on my indicators um, on bitcoin you um, yeah there's a, some script updates i have to do on my this indi this indicator that marks automatic level um so the intraday levels right now i have turned it off because there are some updates i have to do on that just for the bitcoin but not bitcoin but crypto purposes the there are you have to you know um algorithms are different for for these as well the way i have to make them work so but anyways um so this is the level 67452 you're watching now if bitcoin falls you know there is still nothing in my opinion to worry about or for this continuation to the upside or breakout to the upside as long as it's holding 67452 67452 if this level is holding okay and then there's a continuation to the upside problem only comes if we lose 67000 and we break 200 hours moving average as well and then what we have to do is we have to go to the daily and then we have this 20 days moving average catching up so for you there is another important level that is definitely rolling 20 days and um sixty thousand dollars sorry sixty four thousand dollars now that being said guys um even if bitcoin starts losing these levels it is still on the daily interval bullish it's just that this breakout play is not going to happen right away okay you get my point right but these places are still the buying zone in my opinion for this continuation to the breakout side 64,000 as long as momentum keeps happening however now if we lose the level of 64,000 on bitcoin we have a lot more room to come down than level by level okay then we would have to wait and see where the price section will find some more support again so you got you got the areas right so the first area on the breakout side you are watching is the pretty much where it is right now if we get a good breakout again uh, yeah this is this will this will just rocket up guys i mean this is bitcoin we know how it moves when it moves right and then otherwise as if it starts to cool off if it holds 67,507, that's also another good support if we lose this it is still bullish and then the level becomes 64,000. As long as we are above it, we are still bullish. The downside issue only comes if we lose six, this one, 64,000 area, the red line here, right? That's when we would be like, okay, there is now more cool off that is coming on Bitcoin. Maybe this is just another top it has formed. Just like, you know, if I take you to the weekly interval, uh, you know, like, top just like we had it over here right like this is going to be a very um you know sentiment shift if bitcoin continues to break and go above because in the past it failed so far the weekly candle as well on bitcoin right now you can see it's looking great i'm not seeing the weakness in it so you if the breakout if it happens within this week that's great you know that means it's going to continue up otherwise yep you got a little bit slow down again but yeah guys i'm i'm not seeing any distribution phase right now on weekly interval on bitcoin at least so far so things so far looks okay to me but just my opinion you know um that's all but this is this is how you know i would try to technically trade bitcoin but nothing more than that this is yeah i mean um there is nothing more well bitcoin as in the bitcoin as an application it's very valuable because it's it's so secure but if you see that bitcoin is still being traded in the us dollars so is it a full replacement of us dollars well that's hard to say that's completely up to you guys for me this is more of a trading uh, thing um but anyways my opinion that's all i want to provide no guarantees and with that i'll see you in the next videos guys take care bye